The overview, or home screen, gives the overview of all the water treatment system processes at work. Submersible raw water pump 10-RWP-03 in Reservoir 3 will start up when a low water level is sensed by level transmitter 16-LIT-01 in the treated water storage tank. The low level is set at 4.2 meters above the bottom of the tank. Raw water flow is pumped from the reservoir to the pump stations, then into the treatment plant. At the plant inlet, the pressure, flow volume, and temperature is measured by instruments. The raw water first enters two strainers that remove larger particles up to 75 micron in size. The differential pressure across the filter is indicated. When it gets to 7 psi, these strainers automatically go into backwash mode. Calcium hypochlorite, or chlorine, is injected into the water line before the water goes through the large media filters. Once the chlorine has had some contact time with the water in the chlorine contact tank, some of the dissolved metals will precipitate and drop out in one of the following filters. The pressure is measured before and after the media filters. The pressure differential indicates if the filter needs to be backwashed of the precipitates. This will trigger an automatic backwash. The backwash goes to the wastewater storage tank. Also, each filter will be automatically backwashed after its production time. Next, the water is treated by cartridge filters that remove any particles that may wash out of the media filters and prevent those particles from entering the UV system. The domestic water tank provides the water for the treatment plant sinks, toilet, and emergency eyewash stations. The filtered water is sterilized by the UV lamps. The lamps indicate their transmissivity percentage. The minimum is 81%. The lamp has an automatic wiper that will clean the lamp sleeve every two hours, or as set by the manufacturer. When the lamp has been operating for a number of hours, about a year and a half of it operating all the time, it will signal that the operating time has expired and the UV lamp needs to be replaced. Final disinfection happens with a small amount, 1 to 2 parts per million of chlorine, before treated water is sent to the treated water storage tank. The chlorine in the treated water going into the tank is measured by chlorine analyzer 16-AIT-01. The chlorine on the outlet is measured by chlorine analyzer 30-AIT-02. To prevent freezing, the backwash and treated water tanks are heated by the boiler piping with heat exchangers. The backwash tank receives wastewater regularly and the heat exchanger inside the tank keeps the water above 5 degrees Celsius. To prevent freezing inside the treated water tank, the circulation pumps move water continuously from the tank through the heat exchangers located inside the building and back to the tank. The treated water tank pop-up has important controls. It will indicate if a fill is in progress. The manual fill start and stop buttons allow the operator to manually start or stop a tank fill. The fill selector switch allows the operator to select the rate the treated water tank is filled. In normal position, the system will use one raw water pump to fill the tank. In the emergency position, two raw water pumps will fill the tank. The level fill selector switch allows the operator to automatically fill the tank based on level. The timed fill selector switch allows the operator to automatically fill the treated water tank based on time. The fill sequence will start based on time and stop based on level. Set points for this mode are accessible via the settings process screen. The tank bypass selector switch allows the operator to bypass the treated water storage tank. In this mode, the truck fills are serviced directly from the end of the water treatment system. The isolation valves on the treatment system first need to be manually manipulated to bypass the treated water storage tank.